Hey. And recording hey. it. Good. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, welcome everyone again uh, to a, another Power Hour. Um, you know, this is is uh, we're we're here for you guys. We're here to support you guys. And so, you know, um, your questions or um, anything that you're struggling with, we're here for you. We want to help. Um, that said, uh, we. I don't have a, any real big uh, uh, specific agenda today. I do want to show you something that um, I'm working on with uh, with TikTok, and uh, and I will say uh, for for anyone um, on now or or listening um, in the replay, TikTok is going to be huge this year. Your clients, your future customers are on TikTok. There are billions of people. It is overshadowing Facebook. It is overshadowing Instagram. It is the uh, platform of 2022. And you guys should be definitely working to be on it. I know for a lot of us, it is outside of our comfort zone. Um, but like any muscle, you know, you don't go to the gym and expect to to see results within a day, right? It's going to take some practice. It's going to take flexing some muscles, being a little bit sore, being a little uncomfortable. You'll look back a year from now and you'll be like, oh my God, that was awful. That was horrible. <laughs> but you also see like, wow, how far you've come and how more comfortable you will be. It's like, it's just repetition. It's just repetitions gain a little bit outside your comfort zone. But um, can I ask you a question about TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Sorry to cut you off. So like like if we did TikTok with you guys, we we make the video and you guys publish it with advertising. How does that work? Right. So like Facebook, got two things going on. One is direct response ads. So my preference is if I can get any of you guys to do your own ad and I have the script and I have example videos, I can show you exactly what's working. If I can get you to do that, that's going to be a million times more powerful than me hiring an actor. I am interviewing actors right now, so we can have a generic video. Um, but I was like joking with Chris a little bit earlier. I was like, you know, casting as broad of a net as possible. The default is to go for like your average 30 year old white guy, right? It's like, I don't really it's not my preference to be using a 30 year old white guy advertising for you, Frank, <laughs> you know, or you call <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, it can work because we're saying like, Hey, you know, enter your information. We'll get you in touch with one of our best, you know, mortgage specialists. So it's, it's generic and it works, but it doesn't work nearly as well as like it coming from you, Frank, or you come, or coming from you or Carl or Scott or anyone like that's, a, that Scott, is, that doesn't look like a 30 year old white guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's like, you know, it, it's an opportunity for them to hear your voice, to see your face, to, you know, it like that's always going to be a million more million times more powerful than some, you know, uh uh actor representative, right? Um one more but, question. But we but we also want to get people going as quickly as possible on it. So it's something we can start with one and then once you have yours, we can switch them out. Um, but I definitely we are seeing some incredible results with TikTok. I am not going to blow smoke and say that quality is di is way better than Facebook. It's not, it's the same kind of people, but the cost per lead, the amount of opportunities that will come into your pipeline, people to talk to, and then you're gonna, and then, you know, anything developing your, your, your presence on TikTok is gonna be beneficial. Um, I, uh want to show you guys can you uh let me share my screen benjamin uh sure uh you should be able mm, oh says someone else is sharing oh oh you're yeah. sharing your computer sound that's why there you go cool um so yeah that end um this is my uh the content mark content marketing for increased business it's um it is basically social marketing and and TikTok. um i have a good friend matt kramer he is in canada and he specializes in working with realtors so he has let me um take all the content from his course and build it out for for you guys um this is just a little bit of a sneak peek but it's basically, you know, we have quick start guides and all that kind of stuff, all the equipment, video ideas, 
um, all the fundamentals get it, it's it's a pretty robust and deep program. I have gone through it, and then it gets into actually working TikTok, um, how to edit, how to shoot, how to do everything, um, and gives some ideas. And then finally, um, we actually have a full, this is the first seven days, but I have a full 30 day action plan um, for you guys. So, you know, those of you that are interested and really want to embrace this, um, you know, it's 30, uh, 30 day, you know, just step by step, taking little bites out of it and, um, and getting to the point where you're creating your own videos. So again, back to your question, Frank, there is the direct response videos that we would utilize and and run ads using. And then there is just the content, right? Developing your channel, making sure you have hashtags and developing the content. And a lot of what Matt, my friend Matt here prompts, it's the same kind of thing. It's like, what's the questions you hear all the time? You know, what's the stuff that comes up all the time? And, um, and just making these little quick little videos. Um, and then it even gets into um, some of the um, like what, um, what music to use. Uh, trends. Yeah, it gets into it gets into spotting trends and music and like all that can go pretty deep. But a lot of it, even with the content, like they talk about, make he Matt shows like a little vignette. I think of him making something from like. Um, you know, someone showing up at an open house kind of thing. But, you know, you think of the memes, you think of the cliches of, and, and being, you know, being funny about it. It's like, you know, doing a quick five, literally five second, second thing, five or 10 second thing of like, like, um, you know, doing like some crazy face and then being like, this is my face when I found out, find out my client just bought a new car two days before closing or whatever, you know, it's like, all those kinds of cliches you can make them funny you're just making things funny and 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 um disarming people and letting them know you're a human and real this gets into it and explains it a million times better than i am even right now um but we're going to make this available um i will um uh, honestly i'm going to start selling this course but for all of our existing clients um we're going to probably for you guys, you guys are going to kind of be my beta testers and, and, um, I'm, I'm thinking of probably giving this to you guys, but, um, you know, then for some other client, it'll kind of depend on where people come into our system. I'm playing around with the ideas as a standalone product. He's selling it right now for $300, you know? So I know it is hundred percent worth it. You think, you know, you get, you do this kind of stuff and you get one client out of it it's like boom you know it's more than paid for itself um so you, and, can, uh, you can pretty much use the same idea or framework to transfer to youtube as well right yep yep exactly 100 percent. the one of the big things is of course TikTok is very vertical so like when we do our ads I'll show you actually, let me show you just for, um, let's see, wait, where's my, where's my thing? So right now, as we speak, the winning ad on Facebook, and let me actually share sound, share sound, optimize for video. This is this is this is what's just crushing it on um, on YouTube as well as TikTok, and you can see it's it's um, it's shot horizontal like number regular sixteen nine, and then what is done is it's it is um, text is put above and below it to make it vertical. So it's, so it's a 69 within a vertical on YouTube. It runs just like this as a 16, nine, but this is the kind of thing, kind of content that we're, um, looking to either, um, have an actor do, or for you guys to recreate. Let me play this real quick. Come on. 
Thinking. Your computer's too cold. Yeah, <laughs> right? What if you could qualify for a brand new state approved home buyer discount program that allowed you to buy a home in the next 60 days? That's right, within just a few short weeks, you could be holding the keys to your dream home. Houses like this one behind me, 2,400 square feet, two story in a cul-de-sac around the corner from an elementary school. It has a pool. The homeowner, Danielle, was just like you. She saw home prices going up and up and up and she just assumed that she would never be able to afford buying a home. Home. That's when she instantly qualified for a new state approved home buyer discount program that allowed her special rates so she can get the keys to this home. Down below is a button for you to click on. When you click on it, you'll be instantly transferred to a form where you'll answer a few brief questions and you'll instantly know at the end just where you stand and what discounts you qualify for. Look, the YouTube video that you were wanting to watch will always be there. Don't allow this opportunity to pass you by. Click on the button now, fill out the form, answer the few short questions that are asked, and you can know just where you stand and how possible it is for you to have the keys to your dream home in just a few short weeks. Right? Pretty straightforward. Like, the thing about like Matt's course and what <clears throat> um, is that, you know, you see these little jump cuts, like he actually didn't do this all in one take and, and do it perfectly. And like in the course, Matt shows exactly how to like you do it. You, you just do it line by line. Like this platform, YouTube, TikTok, people like they don't care about jump cuts. They don't care about like disjointed actions and things, continuity and things like that. In fact, that holds their attention more. So it actually plays to our to our benefit. But, you know, like, uh, like that kind of thing, again, um, he gets into, I, I believe actually this is a paid actor. I have, uh, I have one from a, um, uh, let's see, where is he? While you're, while you're looking for that, um, I have a question. Yeah. Because oh, I see that. He kept saying about a state approved discount. Can we have it tailored to where we can say, you know, why pay someone else mortgage when you can reap the benefits type situation? Because that's more in line to where I am. Yes, 100%. 100%. I mean, I would, we would want to, uh, to tweak the script and adjust the script to um, to fit whatever products you actually you know have and are offering and um, and certainly you know there's things that are being done with uh, with refi as well. Oh, where's my? I don't know where this video is. Uh, Okay, I don't know where it you is. You know, that's, that's, but, that's good to know because like, when you um, talk about these different topics, it definitely gives me um, some ideas of what can be, you know, changed out, change over to fit my particular area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think um, the, the big thing is, you know, um, there, there's kind of a, a typical kind of structure in these kinds of scripts of, you know, letting people know that there's an opportunity out there um and you're either playing to gain or or loss right it's either losing out on the home of their dreams or the interest rates are going up and that's very fear-based um fomo kind of thing fear of missing out kind of thing um or you're playing to you know um all the uh all the advantages of saving money or um taking money out of their house um that kind of stuff but um it's yeah, it's certainly not like overcomplicating it. Um, and we were like Yolanda, we were talking about, uh, I think just before you you jumped on is that I have actors that I'm interviewing to to do these kinds of videos and have generic videos. The tricky thing is that it's always going to be better a coming from, you know, one of you guys. Um, and also, we also like I'm going to have to make generic videos in different areas that kind of look realistic, like, right, you know, I couldn't use a generic video from someone recording as they walk down the street in Florida, I'm not going to be able to use that in the Twin Cities or Chicago or, you know, half of the Midwest. Um, 
you know, and, and conversely, it's the same thing. Like Arizona, Utah, Colorado, they have a distinct look to them. And so I'm going to have to have either, you know, uh, one of you guys, if you're in that area, or is going to need to make the video, or I'm going to have to make generic videos that are appropriate for all these different areas. But at the end of the day, the whole thing is to get people to know Yolanda, you know, if they hear your voice and they see you, it's always a million times more powerful than them seeing some actor, you know, um, they want to know, they, they want to know like, yeah, when I call, when I call this number and I click this button, that is it, they're, who they're going to be talking to, you know? I have a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry about that. So if we create TikTok videos kind of mm -hmm. following some of the formats, um are you then running that video as an ad itself and then are you do you have rights over the video to like use it for others or are you just only using it for us exclusively if we sure. make it our like make it with our own face yeah 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 absolutely yeah if if it is um if if it's you and your face then we're going to make sure well it's going to be exclusively yours you retain ownership everything is yours we're not we're not going to be using it for anyone else the only time we would the only time i would be having a video that would be used for multiple clients of ours is if someone is unable or or unwilling or whatever and wants to run on tiktok then we would utilize a generic video that we will own and cre have created it would be you know, used on your individual accounts, but, um, but yeah, it would be, it would just be uh, a generic, but yeah. So to answer your question, I'll, anything, it, it's your TikTok channel, your content, we would never, we'll never be using it for anyone else. Is there a, um, is there like an ad spend on TikTok or is it just, it's just, just going to be organic, organically grown through our own TikTok in order to get these viewers? Because I, I know that you can grow your viewer base on TikTok pretty quickly, more so yep. than any other social media is what I've heard and read. Yep. But would we be doing an ad spend like we do with Facebook? Yeah. So what I would look to do um, with your permission would be to divert um, a portion of the ad budget to uh, either a portion or all, depending, but probably start with a portion of the ad budget to test the video on TikTok, and then if we find it is performing better um, than on, you know, than Facebook, um, then we could divert all the funds to to YouTube or to uh, TikTok or whatever. Um, so, you know, there's it's it's one of those things where, like for our own ads and everything that we run, we always look at okay, we're testing a new platform. We usually test with an additional budget um for ourselves but we you know but we, like we could do it a bunch of different ways so we could just divert a portion um of the ad spend to that and to do the testing um or we can just like jump all in be like hey let's turn off facebook for the next 30 days and only run tiktok and and see how it goes i i will say that tiktok <laughs> um TikTok is is the wild west that Facebook was and no longer is. It is like the all the targeting options that we lost in in Facebook, TikTok is still wide open. Um, the viewership, the just everything about it, our our cost per lead. I, I joke when I'm talking to uh, Amit, our our my media buyer who you know, is running a lot of the campaigns. Like, I feel like the old guys, like back in my day, I was getting leads for $5, you know? And now they're like 15, they're 20, 25, you oh. know? And that's just, that's just how the market is. And uh, with, with um, the algorithm, with the competitiveness, um, with um, the, the targeting that they've taken away, with interest ad fatigue people just it's like it is a dying platform it's far from dead it's still viable it still works but there is newer and better that is working better um and TikTok, i think for the next year TikTok is definitely gonna it's gonna be huge i think there is the um you know uh early bird uh 
um, advantage with all of it. It's going to get more, it's going to get more competitive. There's going to be more people, more noise and all that. But right now, man, there is not the, the people that are all over it more than you guys are the realtors, right? They're the typical like extrovert, you know, uh, you know, always, always talking to people and, and they, they're, they're fearless with it. Um, and, and they're crushing it. Um, and again, that's why Matt, uh, Kramer had developed this course right away. Um, but I think again, if, if we can get out of our comfort zones a little bit and start doing it, I'm going to start because I'm on there a lot more now. Um, I'm going to start saving some of the things that I see, some of the content um, that I see from other LOs and stuff. Like I said, a lot of it is just like, it's just like little, doing little funny things or or not even, just information. Does, um, does Facebook have any affiliation with TikTok? Because when I'm scrolling through Facebook, I sometimes uh, get a TikTok video that pops up. Yeah, yeah. There's no there's no affiliation, uh, direct affiliation like that. And we're looking to see how that exactly is working um, because it's not it's not advertising on Facebook. They are they are just showing up. But um, I'm not quite clear yet on how that algorithm um, is working. But um, but we could take a we could take a TikTok video and share it to our Facebook page, right? hundred percent. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So in fact, and it gets into it, uh, where does he get into it? Most of uh, like the, the content, content multiplier yeah. strategy. Um, and let me see this PDF, but it's basically talking about that same kind of thing where it's like, it is, um squeezing everything you can out of whatever you create so if you create that one video yeah you can put it on your youtube channel you can put it on your facebook you can put instagram. it it's on TikTok. it's on instagram you can go and transcribe it and uh and put it as a blog content you can strip the audio off of it and use it just as as an audio kind of thing um well, let's see where it gets into. Yeah, you know, copying things and just um, let's see. Yeah, I haven't even read fully through this actually, but absolutely, you know, you should. The big thing is is um, a piece of content is not necessarily one and done. You know, there you absolutely can leverage it and use it on on the other platforms um and and link to it and all that kind of stuff so yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and that's in fact why like i was talking about like the video um in this case uh you know that this video shot horizontally but used in a vertical presentation on TikTok. the reason why we do that is because if you shoot it horizontally well, now you can use that video on YouTube, you know, now you can use it on Facebook and then you just reformat it. And, and we are, and we're here for you guys. Like I can't, um, I don't know if you guys know my, my background, I was a TV, uh, video editor. I made TV commercials, um, for, for over 25 years. Um, so I can absolutely help with like any kind of, you know, helping with edit things or helping to add any kind of graphics. Again, the course is going to show you all that kind of stuff. But if someone needs help with um, uh, with with any of that kind of stuff or reformatting for different things, I have I have all the tools and ability to do any of that kind of stuff for you guys. I also know my way around these tools, so I can yeah. help you. I know more about the graphic design part of things. I have done many banners for like Nexa and other companies for um, the Facebook accounts. I'm, I'm really good at Canva <laughs> and uh, some Illustrator stuff in Adobe or Adobe. So. Yeah, there's, I mean, uh, and it gets into it in the course. He does have some um, resources and that kind of thing, but, um, cause there are, uh, I mean, 
TikTok, a lot of these have have their own built in tools that make it pretty easy to add graphics and add some of that kind of stuff. But there's also th- some like little third party tools that that, um, you know, free tools, you go on to some website, you type something and then it changes it into like a little graphic yeah. or a little thing. Um, but I think this is going to be great for you guys. Again, it's, you know, I know it's uh, stepping a little bit outside the comfort zone. It's um, scary. But, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I guarantee you like everyone, every content maker, even, even Matt talks about it in the course, like everyone sucks in the beginning. Oh yeah. Yes. You know, he just, everyone sucks and you just got to keep going. You just got to keep yeah. going, keep doing it and you get better and you get faster and like you come up with like little ideas and you're able to like spin it off in five minutes and post it and move on, you know? And like that stuff. And it's like not worrying about like how many people saw it and how many people did it go viral and that kind of stuff, because you're building up your channel. And then when you do have that one video that all of a sudden a bunch of people, 5,000 people see it and they, and they like it. Well, then they go to your channel and then they start watching all the other ones. They're like, Oh, that was good. I wonder what else, you know, is in here. And they start discovering things. And then the algorithm says, Oh, Hey, people are liking this video and it starts showing it to more people. And that's, you know, same with all the comments. He gets into all of that too, of, you know, people will comment and, and, you know, all of this, same with Facebook. We've talked about it before the ads that we run, anything that you put out on Facebook, when people comment, always, always respond. Even if they're being an a-hole or saying something rude, it's like, if you respond, in a professional manner, like that's what people are going to see. They're going to see like, Hey, this guy was a jerk. And, but you know, Carl responded in, in a very, you know, uh, respectful way and, sh- and showed that he's still willing to help and talk to them. Like that's, that stuff goes a really long way. It really does. Really does. And, and the algorithm is like, yes, action. Yep. Something yep. is happening. Let me share this to other people. And, it, and, and, and trust me, they're measuring everything. Then when they see a response, they actually are measuring how long it takes you to respond. How you know? frequent are your response? And so like you see it, you pop, it pops up, respond, you know, uh, yeah. the, the faster you respond, the more the algorithm is going to be like, oh, okay, you know, they're on top of it. Oh, they're, you know, they're in it. Yeah. Um, they, they want that. They want you to be on, on the platform interacting, you know? So, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really excited about this for you guys. I think I'm really excited about TikTok. I think it's, you know, it's a game changer for some people already. And, um, but like anything, it's like, you got to do it. You got to do it consistently. Um, at the very least, you know, anyone who, whether you go through this or not, um, anyone who is willing and able to make their own video and get us um uh get us advertising for you on TikTok using using a, a video like the example i showed it's huge it's huge we you know this has all been just proof of concept the last uh month or so but um we have we have a couple a couple clients that are doing extremely well and yes. that's with the generic video that's not yeah. even with them doing um, uh, their, their own thing. Right. I so. have another question on how it would work. Yep. Um, so let's say we create, you know, a, a TikTok video to run an ad. Do we also create like a TikTok account or page that people are redirected to, or can it be redirected back to, our main Facebook page as the landing for them to like, like our Facebook page and message us or whatever it may be. Sure. Yeah. No, great question. Our, um, typically how we would set it up is the exact same way that we do, you know, YouTube or Facebook or anything else. And that is the ad with their call to action is to click the learn more that learn more is going to go to your landing page and where they're going to be prompted to put in their information, start filling out the survey. So we are not going to direct them to, you know, your TikTok page or a Facebook page or anything like that. It is direct response. We are asking them um, to, to 
put out their information, start working, okay. going towards an app. Okay. Yep. Now, however, the 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 con other content that you create again, that's the difference between the content and a di direct response ad. The other kind of content, informational stuff that you create, that would just be you know trying to get organic using hashtags, using music that's already going viral, latching on to the algorithm to try and just get organic views, and then that would be driving back to your um, to your TikTok page or say your Facebook page. And that would be then, um, again, like I, Matt gets into it a little bit, but then, you know, we could either give you a link to your landing page so that, you know, you can have that same kind of call to action on your profile of like ready to start, click here. And then it could, you could either direct them to your like on online 1003. Don't really recommend that. I do recommend the landing page because Online 1003s are just overwhelming for people. You, you, you know, if they start to fill it out, they'll, they won't, they just don't. Um, which is exactly why we do the landing page and the short form kind of survey that we do. Ask just enough questions to get you the info that you need to make a decision on whether they're worth pursuing, but not ask so many questions that they get scared off, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I managed to fill some time, didn't I? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm happy to answer any more. Those great questions, Brianna, and and yeah, yeah. anyone else, um, any questions? And like I said, this is this. You're getting a sneak peek of what the course is. I'm just finish. I really, literally, just need to finish the uh, 30 day action plan, and then it's this almost gonna, ready. Yeah. And then we're going to be uh, available to roll this out for you guys, and uh, and I'll have it appear in everyone's uh you know in in this um menu here it'll show up there for for people so hey matt, hey matt just to follow up follow on Bri on brianna's question though um yep. so you're saying i mean will we set up a personal account in t i don't i don't know anything about tiktok first yeah, yeah. Off, but will we set up a personal account and do it, do the videos on that, or do we, like like in Facebook? You know, we've got a business page. I mean, will we do something like that, or just set up a personal account and then just go make a fool out of ourselves on videos and see how that catches? I mean, how yeah. So similar to Facebook, you can start off with a, a personal account, and that's that's the easiest you know uh, entry. And then you can upgrade it to a business account if you want. There isn't a real um there aren't real major differences between the two um mm -hmm. you are a content creator uh the differences i believe is is like when you get into how many people can follow you um and how many people you can follow and some of that kind of stuff i think it does give you some additional tools it's okay. it's all free you know they're not charging for any of that okay. um the video that you would create for us is he like matt does it directly on TikTok. Um, it can be done either way, um, either directly on TikTok or or just filming on your on your phone and then um, and then editing things together. Um, and then for us, it would be yes, you would be creating the video, and then he shows exactly like if it was done in TikTok how to download that video, and then you would just kind of you know email it to us kind of yeah. thing, um, or put it in you know our Google Drive. Um, so we could kind of, we're again, honestly, we're, we're figuring this out a little bit as we go, as far as like the best workflow for you guys to get us, um, the videos and that kind of thing. But, you know, we're going to keep it pretty, pretty simple. Um, but generally it's like, yes, you create the video in TikTok, you download it, you send it to us, and then we use it, um, to, to create the ad and, and set all of that up. Okay. I would like to add something, uh, you know, to kind of follow up with what Matt said. Um, like next or, you know, besides the main video that, you know, we can advertise with, you can also create many little videos where you share things with your followers. Even if you don't have many, um, that's the way to get more. Uh, consistency is the big or the first step to take. And uh, we have the um, content library. If you need content, just there you have it. You have a script ready for you. Just turn on the camera. 
and it's going to suck. I'm, I know because, because oh. I've, I have made videos. I'm not a public figure yet, but I'm a DJ and, you know, I, I kind of promote my music and stuff with, with little videos in my social media. And uh, it's, it's, um, it's hard. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not hard. It's like difficult to overcome shyness and uh, overcome that fear of people are going to see me, what are they going to say? They're going to critique me or they're going to say bad things about me. It, it doesn't matter because even if you are posting content that it's not for right, so to the like of some people, with has made um, some people are going to right. love it. There's always a public, there's always a, you know, a crowd for, to make for a everything. Video. I, don't know. I, love, I like Matt's uh, idea. You make the video and don't look back at it. <laughs> yeah. That way, that way you don't it. have to worry about the comments. Yeah. 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 It's like, you. yeah, you got, you can't worry about the, uh, the comments. Um, yeah. I'll be, I'll be doing one of those Bill Burr <laughs> moments where I'm like, ah, I can't believe I made that. Yeah. Or, you know, Car said, like, you wouldn't want to use his mug for it. Hey, man, we can have an actor for it. I mean, you know, the it's it's not a big deal. It's just a matter of wanting to try it and, uh, you know, working with us. And, you know, it's, it's well, I, and with all of it, it's like, <laughs> And with, with all of it, you know, we're not we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're yeah. not trying to come up with content that no one else has ever done yeah. before. Same. You know, it, it and and a lot of it is again we we tend to overcomplicate things. Literally, some of these videos that I, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'm going to create a resource library of of other videos so that you can so you can see what other some of these some other people are doing. But some of them are literally 10 seconds, 15 seconds long. Like they're not a big deal. It's like Here's the question. Here's the answer, you know, and that's it. It's like, we don't, it doesn't need to be a two minute drawn out thing. And oh, it's like, you really, I mean, it's just a little short and you, you get to like where you're just cranking these out um, and just becomes part of your kind uh, all, you know, daily ritual almost yeah. where you just, you know, make a, make a little thing, you know, it's like, Oh, I got a great question from a client today. Here was my answer, you know? Um, or or whatever or or you know again like the big things that i'm seeing coming up over and over and over and over and over again is not understanding down payment and whether you know assistance and options and gifts and 401k and all that kind of stuff and the big thing of um yeah rates are low but prices are are crazy high you know and it's like, those are, that's just, to me, it's like, and I've seen a few posts like that where um, people are doing it with graphics and stuff, but like that breakdown of the difference between, you know, a, a, a two point increase versus a $40,000 difference in home price, you know? And it's like, yeah, that 2% increase, like your, your monthly payments, or like everything is so, people don't understand the math, you know? They don't like get you can that. you can make five 15 second videos about one topic like you yeah. can talk about hey fha and then you say how much do i need down three and a half percent the next video what credit score do i need 580 for three and a half percent in another video you know can i get credits from the buyer you can make a whole bunch of videos about the same topic but now you just get more and more exposure because you have more content yep and you think and you think about it how you can make that even a little more sticky right if you made it a series and you're doing still 10, 15 second videos, right? But you make it a series, be like top seven questions I get asked from first time home buyers. And video one, question one, video two, question two, you know? And it's like all of a sudden now you have seven videos, you know? And people are naturally, when they see, oh, there's seven, they're not gonna stop. Even if they come in on question number four, they're gonna go back to question number one because they're gonna wanna get all the answers, you know? So it's like, it's real, you know, little, real simple little things like that can make, you know, make a difference. I have a question how that works. Mm -hmm. um, so I've, I've started just looking at TikTok just because I've, you know, like I said, I've been reading about it and I found, I've read that it's the social media platform that you can most quickly build your followers. So I watch it for entertainment. Um, I don't have 
Um, I've never ever, you know, commented on a video or liked a video. You know, I forwarded a couple of recipe ones to my wife because I want her to make it for me for dinner. <laughs> but, um, but the only thing I've ever really been asked was when I first um, downloaded the app to my phone. It asked, you know, what kind of things do you want? And I and I put funny and I put, you know, dogs because I like dogs. You know, so I. Sure. I, I see pretty much the same type of stuff all the time, um, but I don't know how they know what I, you know, what, what I would like other than me answering a couple questions because there's other stuff, you know, um, and I don't know if that comes from Facebook or if that comes from other media that I consume, but, you know, and, and, and I mean, the reason I'm asking the question is because, you know, how do we get the right people to see our, our content? Right. You know. So that is some of that does come into um, like ha using um, using hashtags and that kind of thing. Um, how, how to find like uh, exploring and ten and trending hashtags and latching on to them, seeing what people are searching or using. And we get into like the hashtag strategy for your, for you personally and what you're seeing and same with anyone else is, I mean, that is all what the algorithm is doing. So it's measuring, it's measuring how long you watch a video, whether you go into their profile and watch other videos, that kind of thing. That's where it's going to be measuring your interest in all these things. So you can look at, um, uh, there's the two tabs, right? So there's the for you. So that's out. That's TikTok saying serving up things that it thinks you're interested based on your watch and viewing history and that kind of thing. And then there is the discover. So you know, if you were to uh, Okay, so you're looking at yours on your computer screen. I'm looking at mine right now on my iPad. I see home, discover, a plus side, a plus sign, an inbox, and profile. Yeah. Um, along the bottom. Oh, I guess for you is up top. Right. But so if I click for me, you know, I just see another video that I always see. That video has 3.1 million viewers. Holy hell. That's for mortgage. Yeah, I got. Bet he's gotten a couple deals off that. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. Let me. Uh, I can share. So if I did a video, like, like you said, like top seven questions I get asked, and it was video one of seven, two of seven, three of seven, how would the viewer like go from my first video that they saw and then go on and watch the second one? Um, that's where you would have, you, that's a lot of it is. Um... They'd have to follow me. No, they don't, they don't necessarily have to follow you. They just have to go to, um, your. Let's talk about, okay. um, they would, they basically, they would follow you to say, you know, say like her, okay. I watch, I watch this one video and I'm interested in it. If I swipe to the right now, I can follow her. I can start seeing the other videos and you see how she's put a, um, a graphic on each of the videos and pin them. So you could go, if you had a series, you could pin those videos at the top so that they show up on the top of your, of your profile. Um, the other thing is, is you could just be labeling like this, you know, um, you know, with a, with a graphic, a graphic across the top of, you know, like, you know, top seven questions I get asked by, uh, new home buyers. And then you could go and have that graphic on the, you know, on the frame of, of, uh, uh, the, 
beginning of all of the videos, you know, and then like change it video one, two, three, four. So if you if you start creating content in TikTok, um, is there some kind of graphics package you have to have of, of your own, or do they have stuff that you can use? Yeah, is they have it on your desktop. Yeah, they have it all. Everything is there in in um in the application. Oops. Um, everything is there in the application when you go to and, and um and all that is also in the course talking about that. But yeah, all, almost mo especially all these basic ones. That's all. That's all just contained within um within TikTok. So it's really easy to just to add those. Um, and yeah, like, um, uh, if you get yeah. 20 million views, does TikTok pay you? No, that wasn't me. That's that wasn't me. I didn't know. I did a in, in, in general. Like, I just saw that somebody had 20 million views. Will TikTok pay you if you got views like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Then you can, then you get into being an influencer. Or a partner, mm -hmm. as they call it. Yep. Yep. And that's the same with YouTube, right? If you just get a video that gets a certain number of views, they'll start yes. creating an ad to it and you get paid. Now, yep. here's the thing, Scott. Uh, the difference between TikTok and YouTube, you have everything. Um, well, and that's why YouTube uh, came out with shorts. It's like a carbon copy of TikTok. Um, repetition, that's all. And if you have a short video, short format of 30 seconds, and you have a lot of information, people will want to rewatch it. Maybe they missed some, something, and that's two views already. Multiply that by 10,000, 200,000 views in, you know, it, and it, that's, that's the thing with um, TikTok. Yeah, the other thing I know, well, if you're watching a TikTok video, if you let it run all the way to the end, it'll automatically start replaying if you don't swipe up to the next video. Right. So if I think one's funny, I'll watch it like three times. Correct. Yeah. yeah. They'll trick Me you. Too. They'll, be like, they'll be like, did you see that? To make you watch it again. And I'm like, what, yeah. did, I, what did I miss? And then did you see that? And watch it again. I'm like, I didn't see shit. Let me get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they suckered you, Frank. Yeah, there, there's exactly. a lot of, of clickbait, exactly. clickbait as well. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, no, I mean, I think this course, the this course is great. It really does will get in, does get into all of that and and like little hacks and little things. And and then you start, and then you start seeing, you start seeing how other people do things, how they started out. Like you know, um, it's what we call a pattern interrupt, right? Like you either some sort of sound or some sort of movement or something happens and it like catches people's attention, the graphics and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like, uh, yeah, like Scott, like this, where she said, have that relationship discount, all of these graphics, those are all, these are all directly from uh, within TikTok. They're not, they're not using anything um, outside of it. And kind of sort uh, of a picture as well. But yeah, it's like, <clears throat> you know, so it's like, okay, we could go and, and look at him. And um, so, you know, 74,000 followers you can kind of go back and we could see probably real simple. Let's see. Let's see how long he's even been doing this. Those videos look super simple as well. Also. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet, you know, and you, again, you, if you do a little, it's just doing a little bit of research, right? A little due diligence, you start seeing like how bad some of these people were when they started, you know, um, yeah. looks like he's been making a lot of videos, but you can see some of them. It's like, you know, 461, like, what is that? <laughs> okay. Me laughing at big banks after I get a client approved for a mortgage with 593 credit score. It's nice. That's a meme. You know? Yeah, it's basically memes, you know, it's like, eh, um, so let's see if this, um, so, so to 2021, 
May. On 20, 2021. That's basically when he started. And he's just been really consistently making these videos. Some of them suck. Some of them hit a chord and get 100. I mean, look, it's like you did one video, got 3,000 and gets 105,538, you know? But, you know, he's doing been doing it now. It's really been, uh, what, little basically... Bit. Little basically bit less than basically less than a year he's been doing it and then all of a sudden he you know uh strikes some gold with a four hundred and three thousand people seeing a video Let's see what he says and he has one for what's that three three point four million views anything that does make sense is that nothing makes sense is there a way to um because if we're not licensed you know in all states are people going to see this and, you know, is, are, am I going to have people seeing this no, our, that, you know, in, in Indiana and I'm not licensed there. So it's just worthless. Yep. So in our, um, in, for your page, yeah, it's international. Your page is just going to be shown to anyone and everyone um, in general. The ads that we run, will be targeted the exact same way that we do targeting with Facebook. We can go, in fact, part of why TikTok potentially could be better, and we're still testing this, is that it goes back to the good old days where we could actually target zip codes. Yeah. Um, Gender. And Facebook no longer allows us to do that. We're only allowed to do a 15 mile radius as a minimum. TikTok is back to the old days, Wild West, like I said, where we can actually go and target down to zip codes to show your your video and your ad. So um, there's always, again, it's it's a young platform. I don't know how amazing they are with their targeting. There probably still is potential for, even though we target a certain area, well, maybe that person visited the area and then is not actually living in the area and may still see it. You know, there's going to be some, some, you know, wiggle room there, but, um, for all intents and purposes, yes, we can target specific geographic areas, um, and, 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 and keep the ad budget, you know, targeted to that. Um, Wild so West. let's see this one. So yeah, this video five days ago, 51,000, 51,900 likes. That's not even views. Eight people hashtags. Hearting. Eight hashtags. You know, you look at like the hashtags, you probably found some music that is uh, trending and then answering all the comments. And you he's know? actively answering them. That's awesome. But, you know, I get it, guys it's, it's a lot of work. It, it can be, a, it can be a lot of work. Um, and so we're trying to figure out how to make it. So it's the minimum amount of work with the maximum amount of results. Um, certainly, you know, I drink my own Kool-Aid and I believe in running ads and that kind of stuff, but I think it's a means to an end. Um, and that the whole idea is to eventually build your guys digital footprint so like you're just getting a ton of people views and organic and all that kind of stuff and you don't need to spend as much on on the ads at that point or you're just really looking to you know continue to pour fuel on the fire and and uh and grow 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 but um real easy like i said to to uh and we'll get into it in the course and everything but you know you saw it real easy to put in a, a a hashtag or something and um and do some oh my god sorry uh do you know and do some quick research and you start seeing what other people are doing and you don't have to reinvent it i mean you don't have to like you literally do this exact same thing and it's going to be your words it's going to be from you it's going to hit a different audience going to hit different people you know you don't have to worry about like oh everyone saw myers they're going to see the same thing on yours no no uh, the billions of users and targeting no not gonna happen that's why we're running ads yep yep awesome cool guys well uh man we're we're a little bit over the hour here but i do want to make sure that you know we uh 
you guys have had some great questions and, and, you know, um, I'm sure more will come up, but outside of TikTok, I know I, I kind of sucked all the air out of the room here and, <laughs> and with, uh, with talking about this, but is there any, uh, other questions or anything that you guys are struggling with or, or wanted to, uh, chat? We got Frank on here and <laughs> Benjamin, um, you know, here to help you out. Hey guys, I had a quick question. I yeah. missed a couple emails due to firewall. So are, are these meetings going back to 10 a.m. Pacific or? Another great question. So <clears throat> we were, uh, yes. Benjamin and I have been talking about that. And we're going to send out this poll to everyone. I was just creating it. Of I feel like there are a lot of people that would benefit um, that are not able to attend. And so I kind of am looking at like getting some feedback. I'm gonna, we're going to send this out to everyone kind of get some feedback on like, you know, is there a better day and time that's going to be more available for everyone? Cause we're pretty flexible around here. Um, but yes, for right now, uh, Terry, it is going to be, we are sticking with the, the 10 AM. Um, but you know, depending on the answers here, um, you know, we can, we could definitely look at, uh, some times that are going to be better for, for more people. Hey, Matt, make sure when you, cause you have the times listed there, make sure you put the zone that the time is, is based in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea. I'll add, uh, yeah. you know, um, yes, sir. So I see that I don't have, uh, call scheduled with the people in this call actually only scott and i'm going to be sending out an email um after this call in a couple hours to you know send you guys my link i would like to connect and reconnect with some of you and uh, i apologize for that for not scheduling calls with some of you so let's reconnect afterwards um you know let's schedule a time for this or next week and you know, keep being in touch okay awesome so i think with that that's a wrap so guys as always and lady thank you guys ladies sorry. ladies ladies yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for <coughs> excuse me for joining um and i'll see you in uh yeah in our check-ins and next week um hopefully we'll we're going to change the hours for something more flexible for you guys something more you know um better suited for you and uh yeah I didn't know there were uh, beaches in Atlanta, uh, Yolanda. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful background? I <laughs> That's where I want to be. <laughs> Looks good yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. So thank you guys and uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless you. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Yes, sir.